WGPR Detroit HD2. You're watching WHPS, Highland Park, Detroit. FM 88.1 WHPR, Highland Park. WVIE 107.3 FM Charlotte, Amalia, Virgin Islands. The views and opinions expressed on the following show are not necessarily the views and opinions of WHPS, its affiliates, management, or sponsors. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the epignosis. That word simply means the full and exact knowledge of God and of Jesus Christ, our Lord. And listen, I greet you today in that awesome, awesome, ubiquitous name, for that name is above every other name, and that name is Jesus Christ. Well, I want to talk about prayer just for a few moments before we go off into the show. Prayer works. Did you hear what I said? I said, prayer works. Hallelujah. I want to read a scripture or two for you also. Joshua 23, 10. One of you can put a thousand to flight because the Lord your God fights for you. Just as he promised. Deuteronomy 28, 7. The Lord will cause the enemies who rise up against you to be defeated before you. They will march out against you in one direction, but flee from you in seven. Hallelujah. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. Hallelujah. The Spirit helpeth our afflictions, our bodily afflictions, our 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 persecutions, our temptations, those are the infirmities. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself, himself, maketh intercession for us with groaning which cannot be uttered. Hallelujah. And Mark 16, 17, And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils, they shall speak with new tongues, they shall take up serpents, and if any, and if they drink anything deadly, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Prayer. We're talking about prayer. So say this, no prayer, no power. Say it again, no prayer, no power. Little prayer, little power. Say it again, little prayer, little power. Much prayer, much power. Say it again, much prayer, much power. Hallelujah. The prayers of the saints are a sweet aroma to God. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for receiving our prayers. Hallelujah. Prayer is key. Matthew 26, 41 says, watch and pray. Prayer is powerful. Matthew 11, 24 says, therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that you receive them and ye shall have them prayer is life philippians 4 and 6 says be careful for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known unto god prayer is ammunition hallelujah james 5 16 the b portion the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much prayer is lethal listen to this prayer causes you to get results without going to jail i heard an evangelist say that and i say my god that's 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 tremendous to know. Prayer gets results without you going to jail. Hallelujah. Prayers are multi-dimensional, moving through time, space, length, width, and depth, planets, worlds, universe, histories, and infinities. Prayers have the ability to ascend up before God. Hallelujah. In Revelations, it talks about the prayers of the saints are being collected in bowls of gold. Hallelujah. And it's precious to God. Hallelujah. Your prayers can go into your future your grandmama's prayers, your mother's prayers. Some of us are living off of them now. Your prayers are important. Remember this, prayer changes things and it's your ammunition. Now, hope you enjoy the show. And welcome back, welcome back, welcome to the show. Hallelujah, we have a wonderful show designed with you in mind. I have my very special guests, Sister Renee, Lily Renee Compton, <laughs> and Brother Robert Compton as my guest today. This is a worshiper. This lady, I remember when I first came to Perfecting Church, and this lady, I tell you, she truly knows how to usher us into worship when we would stand and praise and worship the Lord before service. She would be one of the main people that knew how to worship. You have to, you have to know how to worship people into praise and into worship when you enter a service. You have to break up the fallow ground. You have to set the atmosphere. And only a true worshiper can do that. <laughs> Sister Lily Renee, you want to tell the audience, now who who is Lily? I called you Sister Renee. <laughs> I just found out your first name was Lily. <laughs> but who is Lily Renee? And tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, of course, we know you go to perfecting. I go to perfecting. But just tell us a little bit about you and how you became a worshiper. Oh, wow. Well, praise the Lord. And thank you for mm -hmm. this invitation. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. We are so honored to be here on today. And yes, that is my government name, Lily. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we praise God that, um, you know, when you when you get saved, um, when I when I gave my life to the Lord, um, I found out that the Lord, you know, he put that gift in me um, of exhortation and with praise and worship. But what we will talk about today, we, we, we will be dealing with worship as a lifestyle. So, yes, I, I, I sing and we and I minister in song and I'm so glad to just have my my husband with me today. Can you just say hi, honey? Yeah, it's a pleasure to be here. <laughs> <laughs> I love to just my great support. I just love him so much. But we will be dealing with worship as a lifestyle. Mm -hmm. 
because even though we we specifically deal with it with singers and musicians, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. in the body of Christ, mm -hmm. it's the lifestyle. Yes. And it's something that should happen mm -hmm. every day mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. your life, mm -hmm. not just on Sundays, right. not just when you come to church, mm -hmm. um, not just when you want to pick up your Bible, but when you're in the grocery store. And mm -hmm. how does that life reflect worship? And mm -hmm. worship is just your reverence and your respect and the awe of God. Mm -hmm in your life mm -hmm. know ye not that your body is the temple of the holy ghost mm -hmm. so we have to be careful what we put in our temple mm -hmm. you know it, it depends on what it does depend on what music you listen to all right you can't listen to everything and put right. it in the temple all right. you can't say everything and let it go in the temple didn't pastor say something you become what you behold you become what you behold <laughs> absolutely yes. Yes. absolutely, yes. absolutely. Yes. so wow. yeah so that's 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 the life. It's the mm -hmm. it's the life of the believer. Mm -hmm. And the more mm -hmm. you mature in your walk with Christ and you continue to realize just the goodness of God mm -hmm. and how merciful he has been to you, then it, it causes you, mm -hmm. it compels you to want to do what's right. Yes. It, it compels you to to find out in his word, how yes. should I do this? And mm -hmm. how, do, you know, everyone, everyone doesn't get it together all the time. That's why it's a process. Right. Mm -hmm. and sanctification in the life of, and this is a process. Right, right, amen. So how did you, I mean, how did, when did you find out I'm a worshiper? <laughs> I mean, how did that happen? Wow. How did you end up being a worshiper at the church? If, if you wanna start there. You... Uh, okay, so mm -hmm. I, I grew up at 2135 Mac Avenue. Mm -hmm. um, and so there, um, we didn't have a option with the church. <laughs> you didn't have a, no, we, 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 didn't, we didn't have an option. If you would lived in my mama's house, she was going to church. And so, of course, mm -hmm. you know, we did the, the regular life of yeah. we got saved every revival. Mm -hmm. Yes, every revi revival we got saved. But then one day, um, I, I remember, I'll never forget, I was in church and I had a vision. Mm -hmm. The Lord gave me a vision and he showed me um, my funeral. Mm. And I had died like a, t a teenager. Mm -hmm. And so he showed me that the church was just full, you know, it was full of people because I mm -hmm. died young. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. but he spoke to me while I was in church and he said, but when you stand before me, I'm going to have to send you to hell. Ooh, my he God. said, because you never accepted the sacrifice oh, of my son. Like mm. you never got saved. And so I was like, how do you just be in church all your life and mm. still miss it? Yeah, my what's God. that about? Those 10 versions. You, you know, know and, and, and it's like, and so I miss it. So that, yeah, that day that I remember I gave my life to the Lord. Mm. I'm not even really sure what the sermon was. Mm. I just knew. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, personal I, I, sermon. Yes, it was my own personal sermon. Yeah. So, but then as I began to continue with my walk, um, I didn't do everything right, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and so I had to learn. I had to learn how to still live, mm -hmm. you know, for God, despite in spite of things that I didn't think I did wrong. Mm -hmm. And so when mm -hmm. Perfecting Church started, I remember we were in the hotel, mm -hmm. and we and we still had testimony service. Right. Mm -hmm. So I got up to testify and. I'm sorry. And I, and I, I couldn't get the testimony out. I okay. just began to just exhort yes. and just to yes. continue to praise God. And the, and the praise just kept coming out and coming out. So that? afterwards, um, I met with pastor and that's when he appointed me over to praise and worship department mm. at perfecting church when we first started. He's seen that praise and worship <laughs> on you. Yes. <laughs> I know you don't remember the song. You. <laughs> well, I never sang a song. Okay. It was just, I just began continue to just glorify and magnify and just praise mm. God, mm. and the praise just kept coming and hallelujah. just and it just kept just mounting and praising God. Yes, so. hallelujah. So at Mac Avenue, I didn't realize, you know, a lot of the gifts and everything more so got birthed out mm. while I was at Perfecting Church. Amen, mm -hmm. amen. Mm -hmm. Well, so now, how is it living with a worshiper? Mm. Well, it helps that you're a worshiper yourself. Amen. So um, the way we have in our house is that we have an atmosphere of worship. Mm -hmm. But when you're talking about a person who goes to the level of having the responsibility of setting the atmosphere for the congregation, mm -hmm. that turns to be a little different. Because that person is somebody who's continually bubbling out praise and worship. Mm -hmm. They're putting themselves on consecration. Mm -hmm. um, I know the, the words to many songs, although I really don't carry a tune. <laughs> I'm more of a car, kind of a bathroom, kind of a singer. <laughs> okay. You know, <laughs> but I know the words. And Amen. then what, what happens for me is that I can ingest those words and mm. become a part of my prayer life. Mm. Because when we actually talk about worship, 
And as I'm also studying this out as being part of this prayer worship ministry that's that's sort of being birthed out, you know, we, we talk about prayer and worship as a lifestyle, mm-hmm. but there's some there's other parts of that table. You know, you have you have your devotional mm-hmm. that has to be part of it, mm-hmm. and also the way you live, okay. so you're walking it out. Yes, um, but there. But as we begin to talk about praise and worship and things of that nature, we have to understand what those keys are. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about praise, praise is almost an entrance. Mm. It's almost like the credit card Mm -hmm. or your ticket to go into the presence of God. And if a person doesn't necessarily enter into praise, they can't enter into worship. Mm -hmm. Because the worship, you're talking about an ownership Mm -hmm. because when we talk about worship of God we're talking about an ownership of your Mm -hmm. life of his him owning your life Mm -hmm. ownership of him of your life and it says let everything that have breath praise the Lord absolutely but God is a spirit God is a spirit and they that worship him right in to worship spirit him, and so I'm, I'm hearing in spirit what you're, and in you're, truth. That's absolutely exactly so you're in order for the worship to be a part of your life you have to have the spirit Whoa. absolutely and and you don't have, get me you, to speak you, in it <laughs> <new> <laughs> <God>. <laughs> you, 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 you have to have <laughs> yes. the spirit and so in in the scripture it says they that worship must worship in spirit and in truth yes. spirit is with the capital s yes so that's spirit and the person of the yes. holy spirit mm-hmm. of yes. the holy Ghost. So yes. you you have to be able to because the truth the Holy Ghost will come in and it will show you how to manifest the fruit mm. of the Spirit. Absolutely, it's not fruits. Mm-hmm. It's it's nine of them, but yeah. it's one fruit. Yeah. So the fruit: love, joy, peace, peace. long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Those those that is the Spirit. Those mm-hmm. that is the fruit mm-hmm. of the mm-hmm. Spirit. Mm. So they that worship must worship in spirit, spirit. not. Just some more spirit, but the fruit of that spirit. You got to worship in the fruit of mm-hmm. that spirit. Mm-hmm. So you have to make sure all of those components manifest mm-hmm. in your life as a believer. Wow, that's God. You hear what I'm saying? So now what you're talking about now is actually going to be going on. You have something that's coming up that's very, very special. Yes, more yes. than just a melody, yes, right? More than a melody. And, and more you got, than you're going to have classes there too. Yes, but we will. L- let's talk about that. Where did that concept come from? And that uh, concept, well, th- well th- again, um, I was in a service mm. once, and I was enjoying it. I was enjoying the the service, the the, the praise team, and the worship, and everything. I was kind of like in a place with my life where I was like. I knew God had called me to do some things, but I had just kind of put them down. Okay. I put them on the shelf mm-hmm. just because life in general. Mm-hmm. So, but as I was enjoying the worship, the Lord just told me, he said, you still have to do what I told you to do. Mm. You're still going to have to do it. So mm. I look mm. and then he just dropped it in me. He said, and, we, and, and it's going to be called more than a melody. He made me look, he said, because it's more than just singing. Mm. It's a lifestyle and see with our, basically with our culture, we, we put, worship just to singing or musicians mm. make it plain girl you know so and that's what he said you it's it's sing. more than singing mm-hmm. it's a lifestyle mm-hmm. and as we continue to study it we were we were studying the scriptures mm. and as we went to look through the scriptures we were getting our different topics together for different summits mm-hmm. and i said i haven't hit a soprano alto or tenor yet mm. you know <laughs> 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 but and so we we want to deal with it from what the Bible really says about Absolutely. worship. Mm. And so we actually, it actually launched in 2016. Okay. Um, and then my husband one day, he just, we, we were just sitting, not even talking about a lot of things. He said, when are you gonna do what the Lord told you to do? Ooh. And he hadn't even known Ooh. that. And so I immediately began to cry because I, mm. I knew then that that was a confirmation. So yes. we started, we got everything together. We launched it 2016 mm-hmm. and God has, blessed it um our first summit we did at the charles wright museum Mm -hmm. we must have had almost 175 participants Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that came and just coming and and one person said well i don't sing or i don't play i say then you should come Mm -hmm. because it's 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 for the body as well right because this worship is that's just it it's more than singing it's more than playing it's what the word says about it's it's more than a melody (laughs) it's more than it's a lifestyle ah so that's what i'm hearing you know, and that's, I told you I, I had a word for you, and I'm not, 
I'm not going to, because I'll tell you that all off of the air, but this is what I'm hearing. Yes. I'm hearing you got checked by God and your husband. <laughs> right. God wants to use you mm -hmm. to, because there are people here that don't know the way. They don't know about true worship. I mean, even the young people your age and younger, mm -hmm. they have no experience with right. that. You right. know right. about right. it. Because, you, because mm -hmm. it's just kind of... It's just the singing, mm -hmm. you know, and they figure, and so then mm -hmm. they, they, you put it to, and I'm not discounting no relationship, that. Just it has to have relationship. Mm -hmm. And right. then this, then the Lord showed it to me like this. He said, when, when the life marries the lyrics, mm -hmm. the, the power that will come, because God said, he oh, said, right I there. watch over my word mm -hmm. to perform it. Mm -hmm. So if you have the word mm -hmm. of God in you, mm -hmm. if you have the word of God in you, mm -hmm. he's watching that word to perform mm -hmm. it. So. His presence is guaranteed to mm -hmm. manifest because right. he's watching over his word. Right. Mm -hmm. So we have to have we have to have a balance of the word of God with the talent mm -hmm. because you know, yes, you still mm -hmm. need to rehearse. Mm -hmm. you, you don't want people up there singing that don't want to go to rehearsal mm -hmm. and you know, we we okay with the people that don't know how to sing, but mm -hmm. you can still worship. But now we may <laughs> you not put you at on, me. I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't point because you Hallelujah. can sing. I, she can, you can sing. You can sing. But now we may not put you on a microphone by yourself. Okay. You know, you All could right. be with the choir or something. Uh, so there, there are a lot of right. different components right. to it. Right. Right. So just to be in that atmosphere, mm -hmm. to be in a, a atmosphere of worship, yeah. you can get healed, mm -hmm. you can get set free, mm -hmm. you can get delivered. Mm -hmm. Just being in that atmosphere, because and in the presence right. of the Lord is right. the fullness right. of, of joy. joy. And whatever Hallelujah. you need is in His presence. And that's what we wow. talk about when we talk about worship. Yeah. And that's the difference between praise and worship. Worship is actually entering into the presence of God. Mm -hmm. So we want to get to that point where we begin to bathe and bask in mm -hmm. his presence mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and allow him to do his work the way he sees fit. Wow. And praise is a way of ushering us to that, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. still there's a difference between praise and worship. I mean, we get into some of those distinctions right, with the wow. as we get into okay. some of the workshops. So now the summit is October the... Yes, it's Saturday, October 16th. And we're actually going to go up north. We're headed up north to Kingdom Life Ministries, mm -hmm. Bishop Alvernus Johnson in Saginaw, Michigan. That's okay. 310 South Jefferson Avenue in Saginaw, Michigan from 10 o'clock to 12 o'clock. Okay. And you can go to Eventbrite to register. If you go to Eventbrite and look up More Than a Melody, okay. you can find it there. And there's a link. You can go to the registration. It's only $25. But we actually will be in person as well as virtual. Great. Yes. Great. So if you can't yes. if you can't make it to Saginaw, but we do need you so we can know how many people we actually have. Mm -hmm. So go to Eventbrite and go register and so we can know how many we have in person, but we'll also have those that are virtual. Okay, now what's the cost? The cost is twenty five dollars. Mm -hmm. And so for this year we will have mm -hmm. um our lineup is Bishop Alvernus Johnson, of course. Mm -hmm. He um and his congregation they're hosting it and then another powerful man of God. Elder Charles Clifton. Okay. He actually attends Burning Bush, but he is a preacher, a preacher, and a teacher of teachers. And okay. then I am so excited also. Mm -hmm. Bishop Johnson's daughter, her name is Anna. Okay. She's 22 years old, okay. and she is on fire for God. Mm -hmm. She will be opening up the summit okay. with mm -hmm. prayer. Mm -hmm. And then um, I'll be doing praise and worship. And so it is just going to be a wonderful time. And this, this particular summit... We're coming from Romans 12 and 2, okay. where it says, And be not conformed to this world, but be, but be ye transformed, transformed by the renewing of your mind. mind. And so as we talk about people not knowing or understanding, it's because in this process, so now we got to teach you, don't be conformed, don't be conformed to the world. Amen. Now we got to walk you through the transformation, transformation. in your mind mm -hmm. that you will understand what it is that God requires. Yes. Absolutely. You know, yes. people would do better if they yes. think better. That's right. You know, That's so right. once 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 you start people don't even realize I need my mind renewed. You yes. don't understand a lot of the battles and the struggles that mm -hmm. you're dealing with is because the battle is, is in, in your mind. mind. Yeah, right. So we got to get this mind right. transformed, that's right. That's right. you know, into the ways that's of right. Christ. So then you're right. understanding, you can walk that's in right. his way and in his will. That's and then right. you understand that's right. how <laughs> to walk this lifestyle out. Amen. So now can they call you or is there a number or just go to event? You can go to, um, Eventbrite, put in more than a melody. Mm -hmm. You can also email us at Renee at go mtam dot com. Okay. 
Okay. So yes. it's Renee at G O M T A M dot com and you can email me. But the registration, everything is on Eventbrite. You can also join our More Than a Melody Facebook page. Mm -hmm. We have a More Than a Melody Facebook page. Mm -hmm. So go there and request to join, and you can stay apprised of all of the information on the More Than a Melody Facebook page. So I know, I know, I know, I know there are those out there that need to go to Eventbrite and register. Yes. But before we let you go, do you have a, a hum, a tune? <laughs> We worship you, or anything that you could just do a little bit. Give us a little sample, and then we're going to go to break and come back. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I just want to praise you, to lift my voice and say, I love you. You are everything to me, and I exalt your holy name on high oh i just want to praise you to lift my voice and say i love you you are everything to me and I exalt your holy name on high. Hallelujah, 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 thank you, Jesus, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. See that, whoop, Praise God. Hallelujah. Sister Valerie has joined us. We want you to pray. For those that are out in the audience, maybe someone that wants to come to the summit, someone out there just, just sit, sitting upset, whatever's going on, a lot's going on with the vaccines and all the stress that's going on. But just say a prayer. Sure. Mm -hmm. Let us go before the throne of grace. Thank you, Jesus. Heavenly Father. We come before your presence. We worship you. Amen. We worship you in truth. We worship in you in excellency. We worship you because of your glory. Yes. We worship you because you're all powerful, all knowing, yes. ever present with us. Yes. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your presence yes. right now. We thank you for the filling of your Holy Spirit. Yes, Father God, we thank you for the unction of the Spirit. Yes, Lord. We thank you for the gifts of the Spirit. Yes, we thank you for the fruit of the yes, Spirit. Lord. Father, you're so worthy. Yes, in all your majesty, you, in all your glory, Father, we lift you up, Father. Yes, you said that if Jesus Christ be lifted lift up, up, that you would draw all yes, men God. unto him. Yes. Father God, we just lift up our hope of salvation yes. Yes. we lift up christ father yes father lord. god we pray that you will look upon your people everywhere yes father. search the hearts of your people mm, yes father. God. if anything that's not like you father we ask that you will just remove it yes father lord. god we pray that you will unstop and unblock every well within our soul father. yes god. let the river yes. of yes. glory yes. flow through yes. us yes. father Jesus. you said greater works shall we do Hi. father increase the faith of your people yes lord. Faith to believe in your healing power. Faith to believe in your delivering power. Yes, Faith to believe in revival, mm -hmm. Father. Mm -hmm. Revive us again, mm -hmm. Father. Mm -hmm. Revive us in our minds. Ah, Revive yes. us in our spirit. Yes. Revive us in our hearts. Revive us in our walk. Yes. Revive us in our talk. Mm -hmm. Revive us, Father, mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. the life everlasting yeah. life yes, God. thank you father for the abundance of life father forgive us of all of our sins by commission and omission father yes, wash mm -hmm. us and purge us father yeah, make God us God. clean father let us walk in holiness yes, father Lord. let us walk in consecration yes. let us walk in sanctification yes, father Lord. wash us with the renewing mm -hmm. of our minds yes, wash God. us with your word father yes God. we praise you today yes, Lord. Thank you're you. so worthy Hallelujah. father worthy father yes. father for those that are broken heart Thank you, Jesus. you say that you're close to those of a broken and contrite heart father be a bomb in gilead father yes Lord. heal today for those whose minds are struggling, shot. Father, yes, just God. bless. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. We give you the praise and the yeah. honor and glory. These things we ask, Father, in your Son, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Yeshua HaMashiach, our soon-coming Messiah. We will continue to glorify you. 
In Amen. In Jesus' name, yes, hallelujah. Amen. Yes, Lord. Well, this is Sister Celeste, the Sister Celeste Show. So I want to thank my special guest, Sister <laughs> Renee Compton. <laughs> thank you. Also, you, Sister ba Valerie Middlebrook, and Sister Compton's husband. We thank you for being <laughs> our guest today. <laughs> Don't you, forget, it's, the summit is coming up. It's the Saturday, 16th. October 16th. Amen. And go you to can go to Eventbrite. Yes. All right, till next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> <Bye -bye. laughs>